Welcome to the Blockchain Report. We discuss all things blockchain technology, digital assets, DeFi, NFTs, and much more. Today's video, we're diving into the Movement Labs public testnet, which just went live today, June, uh, July 30th. I was going to say June. We, we will show you how to get involved. And this is a, a project that is focused on uh, community involvement. And they have some, I don't know what if this is like a campaign or like a gamification, but there's sort of a battle, I guess, or a game called Battle of Olympus. If you're a dev, you can sign up and be part of a team. And I guess they have some other incentives along with this. So pretty cool stuff outside of just being involved in the test net as a, as a user. So we will show you how to get involved with this and more. But before we get started, thank you so much for joining. Please like, subscribe, comment, share this out to anyone you think would be interested in blockchain technology, all the fun stuff we get to learn, and cool rewards we earn along the way. Like these test nets that usually they're incentivized in one way or another. And this one is no different, you know, raise 41 million, over 41 million. So we'll show you kind of how to go through the test net, get test net tokens, sign up for everything. They do have Galaxy Quest as well. So we'll kind of go through this and we'll connect Galaxy to this. But we do have a Discord. Link is in the description below. If you do need help with any of these quests or campaigns, they're a lot easier. It's a lot easier to connect with you there than on YouTube. So get in the Discord and, oh wow, Galaxy is converting to Gravity. Okay, so yes, we're going to authorize this and I'm not sure why this is not working, but... We're going to just dive into this. So we need the Razor wallet. I do not have the Razor wallet. We'll add it to Brave, add the extension. And I'm going to log in to Galaxy with my wallet just because I, I want to log in here before anywhere else. So let's do this. We'll log in. Close that. And now let's connect the Galaxy. So it doesn't look like it's allowing me to connect my Galaxy page. Let's see, Razor wallet. I'm going to go to the testnet faucet. Sometimes these testnets are not very fun to work with. So EVM address, get some move tokens. Okay, EVM. Okay, there we go. So EVM, since we have enough for gas now. Oh, we can just do all. Some a weird ordering for, for these tabs. You know, they should have like all and then the rest of them, but that's okay. So now, what do we got? We can go to Razor Dex. I'll share all these links in the description. So here's Razor Dex. Yeah, we'll, we'll dive into that um, here in a minute. So do the Aptos tokens as well. You want to mint all since we have testnet tokens there. So Sue Testnet, I'm going to try this one, see if we can get some move tokens on there. Get move, get to move on it. Now we go down here, go to Sue. This is very strange way of doing this because you literally have to select each one and then go down here and select each one. It's not, this isn't very user friendly. So I don't know if we're even getting funded or authorized. So that sucks. It's not connecting. So this is the Movement Galaxy page. Let's see, we've claimed a couple, but we have not been able to link this. That's okay, we'll just go to quests. So we're gonna register a code name because this is just ridiculous. So it looks like these are separate quests that, see Spartan, so there's guilds, partners, tags. So register a code name. Oh, we have to bind our movement Aptos address. So where's it at? Movement Aptos. So we do need to add our Razor wallet. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and import my wallet. I imported my Martian wallet into here and we will go to the Sioux DevNet and we should see one token. Yep, that's what we claimed earlier. Okay, now we go to Galaxy, come here. I know this is a lot of running around and fumbling with shit, but they they make us do this because I don't know. I don't know why. So there, refresh. We now have our movement address linked. The register code name. You click this link and connect your wallet. Wait, why is it a nightly wallet? Oh, so I guess you have to add it in here too. So a lot of fumbling around. This is really silly. 
doing this. Um, I don't know why they say use the movement wallet if you are not integrated with it, but this is just terrible, terrible um, setup. You shouldn't make people do one thing and then store existing wallet. So I'll need to get my seed phrase again. So now let's search. We have Sue. Okay, we'll go with this one. So log into your wallet. Connect. Okay, I guess I need to refresh. And we should have our nightly wallet. So it doesn't look like this nightly wallet is working. This is very annoying movement. Okay. Wow. No auto switching. So choose RPC testnet confirm and you can go to sue or wait where's movement I'm sorry movement make sure you're in the test net wow okay can we can we make this happen okay so now we need to go back to this faucet sorry if, if this is really cumbersome and painful but this is just really frustrating so we need aptos no, we don't have Aptos tokens. Man, this is just very frustrating to deal with. So, and there is no Aptos testnet either. So, this is a very weird one to navigate. Now it looks like I got it. All right, so whatever I did just now, follow that. And <laughs> uh, sorry if this is real confusing. It's confusing for me. So, you can choose a faction to support. Um, Ooh, this is cool. I'll do the... The Madea Alliance, pretty cool. These are, ooh, I'll stick with the princess. Okay, can we claim this? Bet. Okay, so I need to claim that. I, sw I have to switch my EVM address to my hacked. And so there we have minted my NFT. So now I can claim this role, join the Discord. And so much little things to do. So many little things. And I must leave a server first. So this is like the one of the more annoying quests that I've had to complete just because it's so weird and clunky. So let me leave a couple servers. Once you start getting all these quests, you get so many discords that you have to join. And I don't like when you have to do all these different things and get five different wallets and this and that. This just I understand. I don't even understand the purpose because it's just clunky. It's very frustrating. It makes me not want to... Very off-putting. <laughs> oh, okay. Now, yeah. So it looks like I'll be having... I'll have to do this at a later date because the Discord is jacked up. So let's see what the... Wow, this thing is slow. Okay, so you join a faction and mint... Okay, so we did all three of those. So once you join the Discord, you can get out of here. Um, Stream movement apps... You can deposit into any one of their vaults. Boom, boom. So we'll just connect the Razor wallet since it's the movement one. So movement testnet, deposit into any one of the vaults. I think it said we had to deposit first. Connect the wallet, check the Razor, and oh, uh, no, we don't have any in the balance. So what testnet? So this is weird. So I'm not sure why we have a different wallet right here. Hmm. Interesting. So this is not connecting the right wallet. So let me try this. I don't know, I'm just gonna keep chugging along because um, there's just too much to cover. So nightly user tried nightly on movement, and I think we did that. Send tokens via nightly. So you'll have to send tokens to a different wallet. But this is a this is just very frustrating. So all these borrow any assets on Echelon. I, I don't have time to keep going through all of these because this is just, <laughs> I don't know how, I'm, I'm really frustrated with the process of this. Um, not, because you have a bunch of different wallets that you have to do with Razor or Nightly and then some places don't take one versus the other and then it's, this is a mess. This is a mess. So we'll try one. We'll try one of these. So supply any asset and borrow. So we have a little bit in here. We'll supply a little bit. I will try and make a part two. I'll go through some of these. And I mean, there's just so much. There's just so much. But okay, we supplied one. Let's see. Progress. So it should show you your progress. But I guess it takes a while for... Oh, because I have to claim that. So yeah, sorry. This was a, kind of a pain in the ass. And then you want to borrow a little bit. But it. this is just very... Enable. Oh, 
E-mode allows you to borrow assets belonging to selected category. So we'll close that and now, nope, I guess we can't borrow. So I guess just keep trying to, to use these different dApps and this is not working. So if I have some USDC enabled, I should be able to borrow, but it's not working here either. So it's, it's kind of clunky. So get through as much as you can, but I'll try and cover more in a future video because this is just a little too frustrating at the moment. But as you can see, we can get a little bit done, just not really, just not a lot. But if you do have any questions, comments, wait, let me make sure I don't miss anything else before I get out of here. Yeah, the, the Galaxy stuff. So you got it. Remember, if you do need help, please jump in the Discord. Link is in the description below. And I'll try and get out a better updated video for you on the next round. So I appreciate you all so much. And with that, this is the Blockchain Report. Have a wonderful day. Peace, homies.